I'm going to try engraving this glass tumbler using my diode laser and a very simple method in today's video. I've also decided I'm going to try and do this video in one day just for fun, so I've given myself two hours to film and four hours to edit. And regardless of what happens, whether this succeeds or fails, or I get the edit finalized, I'm going to post the video when my time's up. Oh, and welcome back to my workshop, everybody. Here's the plan. We're going to take this tumbler, and I'm wearing gloves to minimize getting fingerprints and stuff on the glass. We're going to take the tumbler, and I'm going to use the same method that I used in my acrylic sign video, which if you haven't seen yet, I will leave a link in the description too. I'm going to use cardstock. Now this worked for my acrylic, and I feel like this should work for the glass. And this may fail horribly. So I'm going to take my cardstock, or figure out approximate sizing on it. We're going to cut it down. It's not bad. Okay, so that should fit into the glass fairly well. I'm going to take some dish soap and put on here. And the dish soap is basically, my hope is that this is going to help it sort of stick a little bit to the glass because we need the, we need the cardstock to be pushed up against the glass as much as possible for this method to work. Now, I know there are ways to engrave glass by painting on the glass. And then because it's glass, you can use a solvent or whatever to remove the paint. However, I want to try this method to see if I can get away with it because that would make engraving on glass super easy. Try and put this down in and then let it expand. And then hopefully it will sort of adhere a little bit. No, not really. Not really, do not really doing what I want it to. But that might be okay enough. So that's basically it for the prep on the glass let's go over to the computer now normally i would do a screen capture but i don't really have time for that today so you get a cruddy interlaced shot of the computer down here i'm going to use this image of snoopy which i don't know if you remember back at least i remember because i'm that old they used to have these little jelly jars that came with cartoon images on them like they had like peanuts and i think tom and jerry and all kinds of different cartoons so when you finish the jelly jar, it became a drinking glass with your cartoon character on it. And I was sort of inspired by that and decided to use uh, Snoopy as the World War I flying ace because peanuts are one of my favorite things. And I'm going to use that now. This is a copyrighted image. This is for my own personal use and for just for fun and nostalgia. Please don't sue me, Charles Schultz estate. Hey, if you remember the old style little jelly jars with the cartoons on it, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know if you had a collection of them. So in light burn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to rotate this. I have to think about how the glass is going to, going to go on the rotary chuck. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Yep, that's the right direction. And then I need to measure the circumference of the glass because that will let me know how big I can make my image. Take our thing, wrap it around. Looks like that is 22. All right, so 22 is the circumference. I'm going to measure about what I think looks good. 80. It's already about the right size. Perfect. So we're going to leave that as is. And then we're going to, all right, I'm going to go to cuts and layers and do some handy camera work here. Okay. We're going to run this at 1400 millimeters per minute at 60% power. This is on my 20 watt longer diode laser. Go in here to my rotary setup. My circumference on this one is 220. Let's get the glass in here. Put this, I'm using the Ortor Y-axis rotary chuck. That feels pretty good. Okay. I was a little worried if it was going to hold or not, but luckily it's holding. And now comes the fun part. Fun in air quotes of focusing on a round object. All right. I'm going to turn on the laser. It's going to be super loud, so you probably won't be able to hear me as well. And this is going to ruin my audio. Oh, that's problematic. All right, we're, we're going to go for it. This is going to end poorly, I'm sure. It's okay, I have three more of these if this one goes poorly. Time for the super stylish glasses. Hey, look how long this is going to take. An hour? There goes most of my recording time. Laser just finished. Let's go see what happened. What? Did that... Did that actually... Did it really just work on the first... I think... It may have worked first try. Holy cow. Uh, what? No. No. There we go. 
It just worked on the first try. I did not expect that to work. Of course, I haven't, I haven't cleaned this yet. So let me, I'm going to go clean this real quick in the sink and see what it looks like. I, I can't believe that worked first try. Look at this. I've cleaned it. It's, it looks really good. I am, I'm just dumbfounded that this worked. To be honest, when I started this, I was really expecting like the glass to shatter or to fail miserably and you know, whatever, but it worked. Okay. So this worked <laughs> surprisingly well. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm dumbfounded that this worked. I know I've said dumbfounded like 27 times now, but I did notice one thing. The problem is the engravings on the inside of the glass. So, you know, liquids and things could get gunky on the inside. You probably have to hand scrub this really well. I'm not sure what we've done to the tensile strength of the glass by engraving in it. If it's still dishwasher safe, I, again, I don't do cups and things usually. So I don't know if you know for sure, let me know down in the comments if, uh, if engraving on the glass changes any properties of it that I should be aware of. I'm just shocked. This is amazing to me. Hey, if you want to check out some of my other videos, I have one up here where I talk about engraving using the same method on acrylic. Thanks for watching everybody.